We turn uh, right now to our guest in studio. Well, I'll stop talking about it as if he's not sitting here. Uh, joining us here live on the Rich Eisen Show. First time I've, I've, I believe we've gotten a chance to meet. Uh, we'll getting ready to enter his 11th season in the National Football League. One of the many LSU Tigers in the NFL. Now with the Detroit Lions, Michael Brockers. Good to see you here. Man, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on this program. Yes, sir. Yes, All right, sir. So I, it's, it's uh, very rare that I've got a real uh, live bona fide veteran NFL NFL player sitting in the seat as mm-hmm. a major rule change in the NFL has just been approved by league uh, membership. So um, both teams now required to touch the football mm-hmm. in overtime. Do you like that, Michael Brockers? I think I do. I think I do. Um, I think I don't think it has anything to do with, you know, not has anything to do with, but it doesn't do anything for the Bills uh, this year. Correct. You know, I know, I know they got it changed. It might might have, you know, work for him in the future. But, I mean, for me, I like it. I like it. You know, both teams get to have their offense, especially in a situation like that. You get high explosive offenses. They just go back and forth. That's what the fans love to see. So I, I guess I'm mandated to ask you this question, then. Is in your now 10 full years in the NFL, mm-hmm. entering your 11th, have you ever been involved in a game where it went to overtime and you didn't, your team didn't get a chance to, to – win the game after the other team scored a touchdown first to just end it or even a field goal back in the day has that ever happened to you i've i've tied twice in my career <laughs> so that's crazy i've tied twice so okay. i've been through that moment you leave the game and it's like that's it <laughs> limbo yeah you feel like you're in limbo you're like we didn't lose but we didn't win as well <laughs> so it, it's a it's it's weird it's a weird fit so that's a tie but you've mm-hmm. never been in a situation where you know you're you're out th- so i guess the situation would be you'd be the one out there on the field mm-hmm. and then your offense would be just like okay i guess we don't get a chance today right that's that's never happening never i don't think it happened How about I that mean, I, haven't, I, don't, I don't remember i don't remember i know i've been been a part of two ties I just don't remember when we went into overtime a couple, you know, this is like my rookie year and we're going against San Fran. And I just, I just remember us losing, uh, not losing, but we didn't make the field goal to win the game. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I don't recall that who had the ball first or who would not. But see the, the issue I have with this new construct in overtime, Michael Brockers of the Lions here in the in studio on the Rich Eisen show is now the team that gets it second, mm-hmm. right? W- I think you're going to want the ball second in overtime now. You mm-hmm. win the toss. Wouldn't you want to know? Again, you play defense, so I, right. I, I guess this is you're on the other side of the coin, for the mm-hmm. lack of a better phrase here. But, you know, wouldn't you want your team to go second? Because you'd want to know offensively mm-hmm. what you have to do in order to win. I mean, right? I, I think that gives you a little bit of advantage, especially if you see the other team go for one point instead of two or – goes for now you know they go for two now you have to go for two I think you know going second gives you a little bit of an advantage especially if you see the other team and what they do first what about defensively what would you as a defensive player want to do get get out there first and let your team know what you have to what they have to do Mm -hmm. and and keep it to zero or three obviously Mm -hmm. not seven even worse eight right Mm -hmm. or would you want to know you know, what your offense has already done and what you have to do defensively. How would that change, do you think, defensively, the approach of overtime, Michael I don't Brockers? know. That is, now that you say that, it's weird because now I'm thinking like, okay, I get on the field first. Now I put myself in that scenario. I get on the field first and um, we stop them. You know, usually you feel like, okay, that's it. You know, we kick a field goal, it's over. And now it's like, okay, they we go first, they score Mm-hmm. We now we have to go back, you know. If they go for one, if they go for two, right now we have to go back, and the offense has to go down. And then you think about okay, they go down the score. We have to do this all over again. Like, does it stop? <laughs> you know? no, it, then it would be then it would then it would be old fashioned. Okay, uh, okay, then it goes death. okay, right. But I'm just because I think we're onto something here because this is fascinating to me because yeah. if you're def- if you're part of the defense that goes second, now, mm-hmm. right? Okay, so your your team. Let's just say your team offensively let's say Jared Goff and the mm-hmm. Lions get the ball first and score a touchdown yeah 
Now you as a Lions defender, Michael Brockers, mm. would be going against a team that's a screw it. Fourth down, doesn't matter for my own eight, exactly. my own 18, we're, we have to go. <laughs> right. So I would imagine that would, you'd be playing four downs every single moving of the chains if that happens. Exactly. That's what I would think. You know, it's four down territory all the way down the field because they know they have to score. If they don't score, if they is, don't move the chains, is there's they lose the game. Is that better for you, do you think? What do you um, think? Um... Now, I understand you're a player and you just got to play it I down know, a that's distance what I'm with, like within like, its own box. but Because uh, uh, that changes so much for you, I'd imagine, if you're defending that situation. Uh, if you're I'm defending against somebody who doesn't as care. As a player, I'm thinking about what are we calling? Are we calling pressures? Are we calling just defense, you know, let everything happen in front of you? What are we doing? You know, because I'm like, I'd rather pressure, get it out the quarterback hands fast. Let us rally to the ball, stuff like that. But in a situation where you're like, is do or die. You don't want to. You don't want to pressure and give up a big play. And now you know you have to redo that 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 whole scenario over again. So I don't know. That's weird. You know what I mean? It would be going against a team that just uh, an offense that has no tomorrow. Right. They're living for the moment every single down, as opposed to if you're the def- defense that goes first. You know you're going against a team that might have to hedge their bets a little bit mm-hmm. on a fourth down and you know in no man's land and things like that. Right. That's one thing you it's don't want to coming. go against somebody backed into a wall. You know, they got to fight their way out, way out. So it's like you don't know what to expect. You know, they can, the the book is open for them, you know. Well, I guess, Michael Brockers, this would be a high-class problem to have since it's in the playoffs. You <laughs> right. take that. You take just you, you take making the playoffs right off the bat. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about the Lions here a little bit with you. Mm-hmm. Um, on, on a scale of one to Dan Campbell, how crazy mm-hmm. is your coach? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, he's Dan Campbell. He's, he's all the way there. He hits it and, and surpasses right. it. He is. He is. He is. He is. And that's him on a daily. That's him in in our in our pregame speeches. You know, at, after practices, that's him all the time. Well, because the one thing that I noticed right from the get go mm-hmm. uh, when you started playing is that the team never gave up. Mm-hmm. Never, right. never gave up, and you know those December games for a team that's not making the playoffs. Deion Sanders taught me a long time ago, and Marshall Falk and all the other Hall of Famers I've been so fortunate to be around as a broadcaster. We call them U-Haul games, mm-hmm. where the U-Haul's backed up. You know, everybody's right. out, and, and the last thing anybody wants to do is be rehabbing an injury in January mm-hmm. when December right. games do not matter. But I did not see that at all for the Lions mm-hmm. this past year. Why? Why do you think? We enjoy playing for him. We enjoy playing for him. He's 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 the iconic players coach. He was a player, mm-hmm. so he understands what we go through uh, mentally, physically throughout the year. Um, so he understands, man. That sometimes you know your body's gonna hurt. You know, let 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 me give these guys a little break. You know, um, with in his situation, we're such a young team, so he has to play that you know play that fence kind of you know he has to work it a little bit. But, you know, for the most part, the guys understand that he's he's looking out for um, their best benefit. And, you know, when when you have a guy that looks out for you, you want to look out for him. So going all out, that's one thing. That's we, what we're about. You weren't on the team yet when he was hired, though, right? Did, did, or you were? were you uh, on the team I mean, yet? I was a part of, like, the whole new revamp, you right. know, of the team. Well, so the when only- he got hired, I was soon to be hired after that. That's what, traded. I, was, that's what I was about to ask about, mm-hmm. you know, how you might have – taken in his opening mm-hmm. for a press conference about biting kneecaps and right. things like that. The it was, a, it was, it was a little, you know, out there, but I, <laughs> I, I got what he meant. You know, I yes. got, and that's what you've seen from us this year is like, we're not going to give up. We don't care who you are. We understand that we are the Detroit Lions and everybody has a stigma about us, but we're changing and we're coming for you. And I love his, his whole statement about welcome to Detroit. Cause that's what we're all about. We have uh, hard knocks here this year, yes, so like I'm excited. This is my third time doing it, and um, I just want to, I just this is a good time to show the the, the people, the fans around the world what we what we're about. It's not all about you know um, you know the X's and O's, man. You get to see a lot of these coaches on this coaching staff that have played in this uh, this game. We also you know Aaron Glenn, you know he's a phenomenal cornerback in the league. Yes, he's our defensive coordinator. You know he he has a lot of things that we do old school type thing, up-downs. We'll be doing up-downs in training camp, stuff like that. So 
um, you'll see a lot of that uh, from our staff, and I'm excited for them. So how 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 what would you tell your your teammates about mm. the hard knocks that's coming? See the hard knocks. Like don't try to be don't try to you know build a character. Don't try to you know make yourself a character for hard knocks. Hard knocks is here to observe what we're doing. Mm-hmm. It's not about you 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 know you. you you being a character and you know everybody knows your name now like they're here to observe what we do how we work how we go out about business um so the biggest thing is about uh just be yourself be yourself go about work as a professional like you do every day um just be you that's the biggest thing don't don't change because the cameras are around they're going to be in your face they're going to be around the cr- the cr- the crew is going to be uh, a little annoying because they have wires all over the place uh-huh. they're you know, sometimes you got to tell them to move out the way because they, they want to get every every shot, you know, the best angle. So sometimes you have to tell them, hey, excuse me, you know, watch out, we about to work. So, um, you know, just be you. Be this, you. this question may run counter to what you've just said, Michael okay. Brocker, so my apology in advance. Um, who, do you, who, who do you think is going to be, though, the hard knocks star that we don't know of yet? For the Detroit Lions, just merely by being themselves. I'm not saying you're going to counsel them <laughs> to use this as an opportunity to brand themselves or right. for branding, you know, even um, though, as you, you've just said, you know, some players, your, your teammates might go in that direction. But right. Who uh, is that? Who's that guy? You got a prediction for I don't here? know. It's going to be. It, it could it's be gonna, a coach, too. It could be it, a, it could be a trainer. Coach. Dude, you know what? If, if I had anybody that I wanted to, to build mm-hmm. a character around or build, yes. you know, a story around, it'd yes. be it'd be Deuce. It'd be Deuce, our, our running backs coach. Um, he's uh, he was a phenomenal player in this league. McAllister, uh, is it? No, it's Staley. Pardon Staley. Me. Staley. Yeah, yeah, Deuce Staley. Staley. Yeah, Staley. Yeah. Um, but he was a phenomenal player. Yes. But he brings this this intensity, where he's always on ten. He's always like in your face, mm. smash mouth. Like he's always like that, you know. And it's it's subtle, but it's like you understand. He's always at this level. Every day, like it's, it can be eight o'clock in the morning. He's like, "What's up?" You know, like, "Come on, coach!" Like, <laughs> bring the energy down, man. Like, but he, he's a he's a phenomenal coach. I love him. I mean, he's he's he he brings energy every day. Now that's what I that's what I like about it. I I love energy. I'm an energy guy. I love it at practice. And you know, one one thing I can count on if I if I talk a little little, little crap, mm-hmm. he's gonna say something too. So, is that right? Oh yeah, they practice. Oh, oh yeah, we're we're talking. That's what. That's why I'm excited for Hard Knocks. Like we are talking. Ag is talking to dudes. It, you know, Dan might be the most quietest person. Get that out of here. No, no, he doesn't talk to a practice. Like he wants it to run, run, run well. But for the most part, like he lets dudes. Ag, we talk. They talk. I don't know if I can cuss on this show, but that's what they. <laughs> there is. There's dudes looking at right there in the game. That's him all day. <laughs> All day. It's like he's angry all the time, but I don't want to say he's angry. He's just like, he's, he's intense. intense. He's intense. He's so intense all day. Please tell me they're not serving coffee in the coach's room because it sounds like they're already highly caffeinated. No, I think it's Mountain Dew. I think it's Mountain Dew and Venti, <laughs> Venti, Venti uh, Espresso. Oh, <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever Coach Campbell has, that's what that's what they're having in the break room. All right, so how good can the Lions be? You're hearing about, you're, look, you, you hear stuff. You're a man of the of the world. You're a veteran in this league. You mm-hmm. know the talk that, you know, well, of course Aaron Rodgers is coming back. It's the NFC North, right? right? Why would he leave? Right. And you hear about the Lions and all of that business. So what do you think? How good can um, the Lions be? I'm going I'm to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. This is this is what I like about this team. We're scrappy. We're scrappy. We're here. Um, we finished We finished well last year. We finished really well last year. I'm excited to see what this team brings next year. Um, you know, a lot of us, you know, me uh, personally, I'm, I'm more comfortable around the team. I feel like I can be a little bit more vocal. I know a little, you know, n- okay. know more of the guys, stuff like that. So uh, for me, I, I feel like we're going to do well. Um, I don't want to put any – expectations on us, anything like that, I know we will do well because, uh, you know, we have the right guys, right core, the right leaders um, that's going to push this team to go past what we're, you know, what everybody expects us to do. Okay, before I let you go, let's talk about you. You're mm-hmm. 11, that's no joke. Right. You may, I mean, uh, when 
when you come out uh, of college, mm-hmm. I mean, that's you know, on average you're four, and right. like you're you're closing in on three x of that, which is impressive. It's crazy. It's a blessing. And uh, I'm looking at your hat. You got mm-hmm. what is that? Get, don't get ready, stay ready. Yeah, Brock. this is kind of like my motto, my my brand, my motto. Kind of you know, like you said, ten year ten going into year eleven. Yeah. Um, I can see the light, you know, I can see, <laughs> I can see you that see little that? glimmer of light <laughs> at the end of the tunnel. So, yeah. uh, for me, it's just, you know, kind of setting myself up, um, you know, outside of football, you know, you, once you, once you, you know, this game is over for me, nobody's going to care who I am. So Why would you say I, that? I, I mean, that's kind of usually how it goes. If you're not like a hall of famer that, you know, that your name, that's, you know, everybody knows. You kind of just fall off and just kind of going, you know, off into the well, sunlight. Well, hold on a second now. I, I want to push back on that what, a little bit. What? I mean, I... No, no, I understand that. Right. Uh, just Let's just throw some names out here. Okay. What about Nate Burleson? Does that sound like him? No, but he's... I don't, but he's, he's he, you could say he's an outlier in a way. So yeah. you have that You have that yeah. opportunity for yourself? Yeah. That's what you're yeah. talking about? Set That's yourself what I'm talking up? About. That's what I'm talking about. Excellent. Set myself up. I definitely want to be, you know, want to be... Uh, you know, seeing, um, I plan on starting my podcast. I'm a little nervous. About what? About just, you know, people wanting to hear what I have to say. I don't, I, I'm, I'm nervous about that for some reason because I feel, you know, I'm little old me. You know, I, I, you know, I think very humbly of myself. Okay. So uh, maybe, you too, know, maybe too much. So. Maybe too much. My, I mean, my, there's an I yeah. in Michael. <laughs> right. Come on now. True. True. Uh, maybe that could be your, the name of your podcast. There's an I and Michael. Mm. See, I'm, I'm about, on. this is RES Consulting, right, TJ? It's, it's, that's what we got here. Hold on a second. Oh, oh, charge man. For, we so usually charge for this. You're getting this for free, yeah, RES free Consulting. Stuff. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. And plus, it's it's not live. So mm. if you don't like what you say, just start again. Right. Record right. it again. <laughs> yeah. True. I'm serious. No, for real. <laughs> you gotta like, keep this it is simple. Real. Yeah. I appreciate keep that. Keep it simple. Seriously. Like, this is live. Like, we mm-hmm. can't go back. Right. Like that S bomb you just said moments ago. <laughs> yeah, we can't I didn't mean to say it's that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, kids. No, but I, I gotta actually, I'll, I'll be honest. I take that in a way like, you know, we're having just a regular conversation. But you felt comfortable mm-hmm. enough to the curse. Well, you know, but that's, I don't you know, know I if our radio folks take that same approach. No, but, no, but, so, so if that's what you want to do, like, now's the time to start it. You know, it's tough to have your teammates on and mm-hmm. and um you know i think there's a a, a player a media summit that's coming up here mm-hmm. in los angeles in a couple of weeks like yeah that so and if there's anything i could do to help and I'll, i appreciate I'll, I'll, that I, I truly do because this is uh it's a little nerve-wracking when you go off on your own and you kind of sure you, you're separating yourself from from the league it's easy when you know you, you're a football player and everything's come easy but you kind of separate yourself off and brand off on your own. You kind of almost feel like you're on the island a little bit. Okay. But it's all about networking, so I appreciate of you, course. Rich, man. Do you Thank wanna, you. So you want it like the paparazzi? That's your... No, you not the that? paparazzi. Made more like Nate, you know, be seen. I seen Nate on... Uh, I think I seen him on CNN the other day. Yeah, he's on CBS this morning. CBS yeah, or he, CNN. I was like... Yeah. Okay. He's talking yes, about world sir. events. Now. Yeah, world events. Oh, and yeah. he I looked I looked up to him. And I was and, like, yeah, and that's Nate, awesome. And, and Nate would come on NFL Total Access when mm-hmm. I was hosting it back in the day. Uh-huh. And he was on Detroit. Mm-hmm. And um and he would he worked at it. Now look at him. Now look at it. Exactly. It's like nothing but some practice, man. Some That's practice it. and great okay. people in your corner. Well, uh, I'm uh, hope to be one of them, and I, I appreciate, appreciate you coming yes, on. Sir. This this opportunity is available to you anytime you want. Yes, sir. Well, Thank you, you. you. I'm right around the corner, so excellent. We'll have you on there, and uh, maybe you'll be our, our like our hard knocks correspondent. Or Come something on, like let that. me let oh, me in. Let me right. in. There we go. You can send us, you know, like behind the scenes videos, Mike. We just DM them to the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, we don't need DMs. Again, hold on a second. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me teach you. Let me, let me, me, hold on. Let me just teach you a little something about this business. TJ, part of the reason why we would want Michael to do this, Mm -hmm. it's not just because we've, you know, enjoy your company as we just have over the last 20 minutes, but if it's not DM'd, and you do it, you know, call in or whatever, cameras are following you, then this show winds up on Hard Knocks Ah, mm -hmm. through you. Mm -hmm. So this is us branding through you. Mm -hmm. That's part of the business Mm -hmm. is to come across as seeming like, you know, hey, we're all friends, but it's really about me. Right, right, <laughs> right. I mean, there's a lot of people that. like this in this business. You get that. You I'm just scratch trying to my teach back, you. I scratch your back. This right now is a hard knock lesson right. in media mm-hmm. as we send you out into the right. media world. 
I appreciate that. Thank so you. No, I need no all the DMs. listeners. So no DMs. DMs, right. DMs right. don't wind up on HBO. That's a good point. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? We need to get him some man. swag. Get him a cup. Spell us name. Yeah, you want a mug? Yeah. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. NFL Films. Hold on a second. Get this. Hold on. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a cup of joe in the morning, right? Dan Campbell drinks 80 ounces of coffee a day. Clearly. Put it right in that mug. Well, he's right. not the only member of the yeah. coaching staff. Good a Lord. special cup. Double venti. <laughs> thanks for the call. Uh, thanks for actually stopping by here, and thanks and for no the call problem. in advance. Thanks Anytime, for, Michael Brockers. Thanks for having me. Year thanks 11, me. going into the NFL, year 11. Michael Brockers here live on the Rich Eisen Show. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.